All right, good morning, good morning. This is Dr. Lee, principal here with our Family Friday. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started and do a recording so I can post this on YouTube for the families that have work and aren't able to join. So, buenos dias a la uh, Viernes Familiar, Family Friday, es el último día, pues el último Family Friday del año escolar uh, aquí en mayo. So, voy a uh, traducir y voy a presentar esta presentación hoy y voy a uh, grabar para poner en YouTube. All right, so our agenda for today, this is a nice little staff photo that we have put together of all of our staff and we've actually added a few staff to our team throughout the year um, who have been the ones who are providing the quality education for your students here at Edison throughout the year. And <clears throat> they've been working hard to make sure that they make incredible gains so that they can be at grade level, pursuing their uh, dreams and goals um, academically. So, aquí tenemos nuestro uh, personal aquí en la escuela. Hay muchos maestros y varios otros personal quien ayuda para ayudar a los niños uh, a alcanzar sus metas y uh, sus sueños y trabajar duro en sus académicos. Um, y también tenemos más uh, gente en nuestro equipo uh, quien no están en esa foto, pero ellos están uh, uniéndose con nosotros para ayudar a los niños. Okay, so our agenda for this last meeting here is we're going to go, we're just have a little school year in review and highlight some of our exciting things that have happened, exciting events, exciting um, uh, programs and accomplishments, etc. Then I'm going to just review the summer programs that are available here at Edison because we are a host to that. And then what is coming to Edison in the future, some um, exciting things that we're going to have updated and improved. And then I'm going to offer some school guided tours for the week after Memorial Day. So la agenda para hoy es voy a repasar el año escolar con muchas cosas, celebraciones, detalles, alcanza cómo están mejorando los niños y pues las cosas que tenemos pasando aquí en la escuela. And summer programs, programas de verano que tenemos aquí en la escuela. Y que está viniendo a Edison uh, en el futuro, cuál programas tenemos y todo. Y voy a ofrecer guías uh, en uh, la semana después de la vacación de Memorial Day, el día memorial. Uh, voy a ofrecer uh, la oportunidad a familias porque no pudiera venir a la escuela por mucho tiempo, puede venir conmigo para uh, traba, uh, caminar alrededor de la, de la escuela durante esta semana en mañana. Okay, so we're just going to take a school year in review. So remember, way back to the beginning of the year, we had we welcomed about 360 students back to in-person learning after being out for COVID um, and remote learning for almost a year and a half, um, maybe a little more than that. Um, and we welcomed everybody back. And eventually we got to the point of not even having our distancing and masking requirements. So a lot has changed in the last year. So uh, primariamente, uh, si uh, uh, invitaron a los niños, todas las escuelas, a 360 niños a la escuela en persona, después de más de un año, año y, uh, y media, uh, afuera de la escuela en línea y pues uh, aprendiendo en casa, pero uh, regresaron a la escuela. Eventualmente no tenía que uh, seguir distancia ni mascarillas en la clase, fue uh, opcional. Entonces mucho ha cambiado en el año pasado uh, en la nuestra escuela, en las escuelas. La otra cosa, the other thing that we have done, we secured in the beginning of the year a baseline for academics for every student on the iReady reading and math, the fast reading, the demi math, and the FNP, which is the Fountas and Pinnell reading, so that we could tailor our instruction to the students' needs, especially after coming off of COVID. So this was just some of our data. We're going to have our spring data coming up. So we're going to be able to capture their assessments for the end of the year and see how much they've grown from fall all the way to spring. We don't have that yet, but we will be collecting that. So también uh, recibieron o pues ganaron o um, 
completaron la, los niveles académicos para los niños de cada niño, cada estudiante aquí en la escuela en las áreas de iReady, lectura, matemáticas, FAST, lectura, DEMI, matemáticas y FMP, lectura para todos los niños de cualquier uh, edad y nivel. Y tenemos, uh, vamos a ofrecer otro, otras uh, evaluaciones en el fin del año, en, el, uh, prima, en la primavera. Ahorita vamos a tener otro para ver cómo, cuánto ganaron o crecieron o aumentaron sus niveles en las áreas de lectura y matemáticas este año. So vamos a ganar uh, en las semanas que vienen. So we also raised a lot of money from the turkey trot. We did the yo-yo sales, the winter grams, the cans for books. We had the scholastic book sales. We got a bunch of Amazon donations, thousands of dollars of Amazon donations. We did the jump rope for the American Heart Association and we got the price grant field trip scholarships. So we were able to collect a lot of different resources from our partners around the community um, to raise funds to help support our work here at Edison. So, sí, uh, ganaron mucho dinero del turkey trap porque de ustedes, because of you guys, uh, y sus familias y todo para ganar el dinero para uh, pagar para uh, paseos y otras cosas para los niños. Uh, ya compraron yo-yos, winter grams, uh, botes de agua para uh, reciclar, para ganar libros. Scholastic, uh, uh, vendedores de uh, libros, y vamos a tener otro uh, muy pronto. Uh, donaciones de Amazon, mucho dinero de uh, donaciones de ropa y cosas de PPE. Uh, jump Rope, um, de la asocia Asociación de Corazón, y uh, becas para paseos de Fleet, de uh, uh, beca de Price. Okay, and then we started Leader in Me here. That's another thing we did this year is we expanded on our leadership opportunities for students um, by starting a program, just kind of initiating a program called Leader in Me with habits for success for students um, where they learn about successful habits that will be good for them now and into the future as they grow, um, but also expanding on leadership opportunities for students. So this is a picture of our student council And we are constantly looking for ways in the class and outside of the class to help develop the leadership potential in all of the students. And so empezaron este año uh, un programa que se llama Lider en Mi, um, extendiendo oportunidades de liderazgo para los niños eh, adentro de la clase, afuera de la clase, es aquí en la figura o en el dibujo. Uh, en el, la foto es uh, nuestro grupo de student council Um, de los niños liderazgos aquí en la escuela y uh, estamos uh, creciendo oportunidades de los niños a uh, uh, demostrar su habilidad de ser líderes en sus propias vidas y también en la escuela. Uh, we also had lots of field trips and partnerships with um, science organizations. So we visited the Fleet Science Center. We have um, Each grade level is taking one or two field trips um, sponsored by the price grant to the Fleet Science Center, which includes an IMAX experience and also um, a workshop and the museum. We have visited Ocean Discovery. Um, some students have visited Birch Aquarium. We'll visit the Del Mar Fair and other various watershed and nature locations around San Diego. So um, this pictured here was when the Ocean Discovery comes to our campus and they do a lesson before they take the field trips. So we've done a lot of that this year, lots of experiential learning again in person uh, where they get out into the community and some of our community organizations. So visitaron este año el, el Centro de Ciencia de Fleet aquí en Balboa. Uh, tuvo la oportunidad de visitar IMAX y un, uno o dos paseos ahí uh, de cada grado. Um, y tiene un museo, la experiencia del museo y también un uh, uh, workshop para aprender de una, un una tema. Uh, visitaron a Ocean Discovery, descubrimiento, descubrimiento de océano, uh, aquarium de Birch, uh, fair de Del Mar y varios, uh, varios lugares en San Diego de natural, naturales, naturalismo. Um, y uh, the watershed. 
Okay, we also had a wonderful performance. Um, in December, we had beautiful performances by every class, had some participation in that, whether it was songs or the Reader's Theater or giving away gifts. Um, and then we had wonderful volunteers set up a beautiful environment so that they could still have that experience coming back in person, even though we couldn't have parents. Um, we did that. So, tuvimos una, un evento muy especial uh, durante diciembre. Um, cuando los niños uh, cantaron y uh, leyeron y ofrecieron uh, regalitos, um, aunque no pudiéramos tener los niños, o oh, disculpa, las familias en persona, pero ofrecemos en video uh, la, la, el evento. And we also fostered guinea pigs. Um, we had Sven, and then Sven was adopted, and then we um, are now uh fostering porco and cochon and so you have a picture here of some of our students who like to come in and take care of the guinea pigs and they like to build little um play areas for them and just use their creativity to um, give the guinea pigs a nice little home so they were kind of our school pets and as i like to think they were like in some ways our emotional support pets that helped to make it through coming back into after a difficult time, just um, having everybody um, have something, you know, animals are always very good at helping with the emotional part. So we were able to do that. Um, so tuvimos um, guinea pigs, puerquitos, guinea pigs, uh, ogazones, um, Sven, Sven, Sven fue adoptado de una familia y luego um, gan, uh, recibi, uh, recibimos porco y cochón. Uh, también en nuestra escuela y los niños o las niñas aquí están construyendo um, uh, casitas para lo, los uh, orgazones para jugar y uh, pues ellos están demostrando su creatividad um, construyendo estas cosas y pues los animales son buenos para emoción, emociones y uh, especialmente después de un año muy difícil afuera de la escuela y a uh, los niños y niñas le encanta nuestros uh, animales especiales. We also had planted 18 trees around the perimeter of the school in partnership with the SDG&E in the city of San Diego. Um, you may have seen on the news, maybe you saw my post in Class Dojo, and then pictured here was when they um, came to um, completely unveil the event, and they had 18 trees just around Edison alone, um, and they're planting hundreds of them in the City Heights neighborhoods to give more green and to help keep the climate um, climate temperatures down because trees and plants are really good for that. And also we planted six different gardens of vegetables with uh, primarily our kinder first grade and fourth grade um, did that. So we have um, six different gardens all throughout the campus and they were um, working with um, planting the vegetable, mostly vegetables, some of the flowers, and then taking care of it over time, growing some things from seed. So uh, este año ya también tuvimos pues el grupo de San, uh, SDG &E y la ciudad de San Diego vino, vinieron a poner, a darnos aquí en nuestra comunidad uh, 18 uh, árboles uh, para ser más bonita nuestra comunidad y acerca de nuestra escuela alrededor de, uh, de nuestra escuela aquí y tuvo su evento para uh, compartir las cosas, pues puede ver en la foto aquí, que ellos vinieron aquí para uh, ofrecer y abrir uh, el proyecto. Y también tenemos seis jardines uh, de vegetales aquí en nuestra escuela, uh, primariamente para kinder, primer grado y cuarto grado. Okay. Also, what else did we do? We have so many things that happened this year that we hadn't done in the years, in the last couple of years. So that's why I'm sharing. This is very exciting. So we opened up more after school programs this year. We um, had the guitars in the classroom. Um, we had Youth Tennis San Diego. Um, we had tutoring, academic tutoring. We had basketball and Vismo Origami, and then many um, additional primetime enrichment activities for students in primetime. And that included Lego robotics, tennis, football, cooking, animal ambassadors, and they had different reptiles and visitors that way. And in the summer, they will be taking some field trips. So if you haven't signed up for primetime, you can do that still. They still have space. So también este año, porque fue muy difícil el año pasado, 
y no tuvimos la oportunidad de tener las cosas. Pero este año tuvimos la oportunidad de ofrecer programas después de la escuela, como guitarras en el salón, con Ms. Allager, uh, tenis, con uh, señora Cruz y yo, tutoría académico con algunos maestros, basketball con Mr. K, señor K, bismo origami con señora Laskowski y primetime, muchos programas, uh, actividades en primetime adicionales este año, Lego, robóticos, tenis, fútbol americano, um, cocinar, uh, um, en, también para animales y vin, vinieron varios grupos de uh, animales para compartir su, su amor para animales. Okay, what else did we do? Students shared their good ideas, pursued their curiosities, and shared their creative creativity through jokes and riddles. That was something we added this year and last year. My theme was, what's your good idea? You know, while you're staying at home, maybe you, you have a different outlook on your learning experiences because you're at home. Well, this year our theme was be curious. Be curious about your academics, what you're reading, ask questions, think deeply. And so students shared that. We had students share their curiosities in different ways through the things they read about, wrote about, uh, talked about. And then on my Monday mornings, I had students sharing jokes and riddles, and they absolutely loved that. I have many, many students that come up to me every week to share their jokes and riddles. And we're getting them more and more comfortable with sharing in front of the whole school uh, on the microphone on Monday mornings. And so we're very happy and proud about that. Uh, entonces, los niños ya compartieron sus buenas ideas, uh, persiguieron uh, sus curiosidades y compartieron su creatividad uh, a través de uh, chistes y riddles. No sé cómo se dice riddles, pero chistes. En, es, y en frente de la escuela, estamos uh, invitando a los niños a, a perseguir cosas así para uh, aprender más fuerte y más duro y pues uh, preguntarle más tiene curiosidad o pues es importante a tener curiosidad para aprender porque puede uh, preguntarle de qué está leyendo y de cosas están escribiendo puede uh, mejorar y perseguir uh, a un nivel más fuerte. Ok, very good. And then we also renewed our school status as a no place for hate school. And we were invited to apply to become a healthy or a healthy, I made a mistake there, generation school. And we have earned the bronze uh, prize for that in the past. And we have been a no place for hate school. So we're just going to continue on with those uh, wonderful things. Um, and you can see here, we've just got kids doing physical activity, growing healthy vegetables and eating healthy foods. Um, so también estamos uh, 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 Continuando, disculpa, no tengo la palabra. Continuando con ese uh, uh, nombre en la escuela como No Place for Hate, No Lugar para uh, Odiar. Um, y también estamos invitados a aplicar para uh, un programa que se llama Healthy Generation School, la escuela uh, saludable de esta generación, uh, porque estamos uh, comiendo cosas uh, muy buenas, saludable, creci uh, creciendo. Uh, verduras y vegetales y también estamos uh, estamos act activo durante nuestro día escolar. Okay, we reopened the reading room. So abri abrimos el salón que tenemos aquí que es uh, directamente uh, dedicado para lectura o leer. Tiene un montón de libros y es un lugar ambiente muy Uh, suave y al calma y pues una obviamente puede ver en las fotos que es un lugar muy uh, divertido para los niños para leer porque para leer es un buen uh, pues regalo y es importante a sobrevivir y a aumentar y subir en su vida entonces es importante que tiene un amor para lectura en su vida entonces ya abrimos el, el salón otra vez And we made ex extraordinary growth in reading, writing, and math. Some students even grew more than three grade levels in reading due to their hard work. Some students made little growth. Some students made a huge growth. But everyone was moving forward. And the more that they're at school, the more they get the consistency, the more they're making that growth. So I showed some examples here in the picture on the slide uh, that shows what that looks like in our iReady when you see a student making their typical growth 
or making a comparison between the two diagnostics or maybe going past their stretch growth or not. So you'll see it, they are different for every student. Every student based on their diagnostic will get a score. And, uh, and the students were all making gains, which is all wonderful. And the more and more that they do their homework, they come to school and they continue to do their independent learning apps, which are personalized for them and their skills, um, the more they will continue to grow and excel, which will give them just open up the world of possibility as they get older. Okay, so ya están creciendo muy fuerte los niños en lectura, escritura y matemáticas. Aquí es un ejemplo de iReady. Cuando crecen, tenemos figuras que explican cómo es, uh, cuánto están creciendo, cuántos puntos y cuántos niveles. Entonces puede ver aquí en las figuras, son diferentes. Cada uno es diferente, su nivel es diferente, su meta es diferente, pero cada una está creciendo desde el principio del año hasta uh, pues es uh, invierno, pero eventualmente para uh, primavera también. Todos están creciendo. Algunos están creciendo poquito, algunos están creciendo muchísimo, varios grados, pero todos cuando están aquí todos los días están creciendo um, y están haciendo sus tareas y están haciendo sus aplicaciones personales como iReady, Imagine y eso están creciendo y lo más que puede hacer todas las cosas es asistir a la escuela, uh, hacer sus obras, tareas, prácticas y también hacer sus aplicaciones personales pueden crecer muy fuerte y es importante porque abren las oportunidades de su futuro. And we celebrated our Teacher of the Year. Miss Kepler Gonzalez was nominated and voted by her colleagues to be our Teacher of the Year here at Edison. So congratulations to Miss Kepler Gonzalez, our kindergarten teacher. She's pictured here with some of her students and we celebrated her in this honor earlier in the year. And I know our parents who have her in the class really appreciate her. So we really appreciate you, Miss Kepler Gonzalez, and we honor you and all that you've done. And congratulations on being Teacher of the Year. So celebramos nuestra uh, maestra del año, Señora Kepler Gonzalez. Ella es una maestra de kinder y está en la foto aquí con sus, algunos de sus niños. Y ella fue celebrado y uh, pues anotado de sus compañeros o sus uh, ya colegas um, y compañeros aquí en la escuela que ella fue uh, y ellos votaron también para decidir que ella es nuestra maestra del año. Uh, felicitaciones a ella y uh, nos agradecemos mucho por su, uh, su fuerza, su cariño y su amor para sus niños y su habilidad de enseñar a todos. Okay, so that was our kind of year in review and I'm going to have another little uh, special thing to share in a little bit, uh, but I did want to share um, our summer here at Edison and what that's going to, going to look like. So we are going, we're hosting again summer school. Um, this is the second year in a row that we're hosting summer school. It's going to be morning academics from 730 to 1130. The application did close. Uh, but we were informed that if you arrive on June 21st, the very first day, you can still sign up. So, um, so if you're interested, there is a form, a paper form. You could come to the office and ask for that. Otherwise, you would show up on the first day and ask to be added. Um, we are also hosting prime time, which is after the morning program. In order to be in prime time, you have to have signed up for the morning program. So you can't just come for prime time. Um, and you have to fill out the application. I have the link here, and I will share that link also again on Class Dojo. Um, I have it here on the slide, which is I'm going to share this slideshow. Um, and then Level Up San Diego. There were um, every school that is hosting summer school, and maybe other locations um, have Level Up programs, which are sponsored by the San Diego Foundation. And we are hosting Guitars in the Classroom and Youth Tennis San Diego. So we will have all those programs and you'll see here um, the guitars goes from 1130 to three. So it's an afternoon program and you don't have to be in the morning program to sign up for that. And the Youth Tennis San Diego, same thing. It's after, after the morning program, 1130 to 130. And so um, students would get a lunch in there. We'd give them uh, a lunch and then they would have the ability to play and they don't have to be in the morning program to play. Um, and there are, for the tennis, there's three separate weeks. Again, I'll share those links um, in Class Dojo. 
What else do you need to know about the, what's coming during summer? What's available? So all the students will have their Chromebooks, which will go home with them. Um, they've all been checked out to them individually, and that will give them access to all the Clever, um, the Clever platform, which has all of the learning apps, such as iReady, Imagine, ST Math, um, How to Teach Your uh, Monster to Read, all the things that the kids have loved throughout the year, they're all gonna be accessible to them for free over the summertime. So the Chromebooks will go home, the Clever app will be available and all the applications in them will still be available. So please take advantage of that. And if they are coming to summer school, then they will bring their Chromebooks with them. So they would, the one that's checked out to them, they would bring with them. And we're getting free books. Again, before the end of the year, we've already gotten some of the books and we'll be getting more in from, thank you to Cans for Books. Um, who donated a bunch of books because of the plastic we recycled. And also um, you're gonna be able to take at least one free book home during your last week of library visits. And that's for all the students. So they're gonna go to the library um, in their last week. And then rather than doing a checkout, they're going to, um, they're gonna get to keep the book. So we're gonna have a bunch of the books that were donated to be sending home. So yay for that. That is what we can look forward to coming up in the summertime. Voy a traducir en español. Entonces, durante el verano en Edison, uh, hay varios programas en, en, que tenemos aquí en nuestra escuela porque somos uh, un lugar uh, para el programa de verano. Entonces, en la mañana, como el año pasado, porque es el uh, dos años siguientes que uh, ofrecemos uh, la escuela de verano aquí en nuestra escuela, el año pasado, el año pasado y también este año. Y uh, en la mañana tenemos... Uh, académicos de la mañana a las siete y media, a las once y media, pero la aplicación ya fue cerrado, pero debe que venir el 21 de junio para uh, preguntarle si es posible para entrar. Uh, pero ya uh, los que uh, ya entraron están en la lista, pero si no uh, completó la forma o la aplicación, debe que venir el primer día uh, del verano, ok, en el principio del día uh, siete y media. También estamos ofreciendo prime time aquí después del programa de la mañana a las once y media y cuatro y media y vamos a tener almuerzo para los niños quien queda, se queda. Um, y prime time, la aplicación todavía está abierta uh, porque tiene varios espacios uh, ahorita y voy a compartir el enlace para ustedes si, si quiere uh, involucrarse sus niños uh, al programa. Y debe que participar en la mañana para participar en prime time. No puede solo venir para prime time. Debe que venir para la mañana y también prime time. Y también estamos ofreciendo Level Up uh, San Diego. Uh, Level Up San Diego estamos ofreciendo uh, guitarras en el salón otra vez en, en, las, en el verano. Es a las once y media a las tres. Y Youth Tennis San Diego. También hay tres semanas con grupos diferentes. Uh, y tienen la oportunidad de venir por una semana, dos horas cada día uh, de una de las tres semanas. Voy a poner la información en Class Dojo y es once y media a las una y media, a la una y media. Y también que está disponible durante el verano, Chromebooks, los niños tienen uno a uno, vaya a, la, a las casas. Entonces cada niño, cada estudiante va a tener su uh, computadora en casa porque Clever, uh, Platform se llama Clever, está disponible uh, gratis para todos los niños durante el verano y cada aplicación que usa durante el año, como iReady, Imagine, STMath, uh, como enseñar su monstruo, monstruo a leer, <coughs> están disponibles en Clever durante el verano con su Chromebook. Entonces puede tomar ventaja de esta oportunidad durante el verano porque tiene su computadora. Y también estamos ofreciendo libros gratis para traer a la casa en su día en, en la biblioteca con su clase. En vez de chequeando los libros, uh, van a tener la oportunidad de tener, recibir un libro gratis para traer a la casa. Es su propio, es su, cuando agarra su libro, es suyo. No tiene que regresar a la biblioteca. Entonces es gratis y gracias a Cancer Books para donar uh, los libros. And we keep making Edison a wonderful place to learn. I mentioned <clears throat> that I would share some things coming up. So here's something to look forward to here at Edison. So we have the buy one, get one free Scholastic Book Fair coming up May 23rd to the 27th. Um, 
And so tenemos un evento uh, de Scholastic Books, también el, el segundo del año, May, el 23 al 27 de mayo. Uh, puede comprar uno y recibir uno gratis uh, del uh, valor menos de, o igual o menos del primer libro. Uh, we're getting a new joint use field this summer, which is very exciting. We know how many people in our community use the field that we have out here. And we're getting a new one. It's getting updated and renovated. So we have a new installation. It will start at the end of July. Families around the neighborhood will get letters informing them that it will be closed for the weeks that it takes to, to, um, to do the renovation. Um, but it'll look really, really amazing when it's finished. Uh, entonces vamos a recibir un nuestro um, field, uh, campo. Uh, aquí en la escuela uh, va a re renovar todo y va a ver muy bonito y muy, muy bien uh, para jugar y más uh, seguro que hasta ahorita. Y va a, van a empezar el, uh, el proceso de renovar en julio, en el fin de julio. Entonces, durante las semanas cuando um, están uh, trabajando en este proyecto, no están abiertas las familias aquí, pero después van a ser muy bien bonitas. Okay, we're getting upgrades to our bathrooms in the 100 and 200 building. The district has a project. They're going to come and do bathroom renovations for us. So van a renovar sus baños uh, aquí en, en este edificio donde estoy. We're adding three new raised bed gardens. So ya tenemos, or we already have six and we're going to add three more. So ya tenemos seis jardines para los niños y vamos a uh, tener, uh, comprar tres más para que más estudiantes uh, tienen la oportunidad de uh, crecer. Um, sus verduras y vegetales. Uh, <clears throat> we're also adding additional blacktop games and paint. Um, so we're going to be adding some games onto the blacktop that you'll see painted on. And, um, <clears throat> and that will be coming uh, this summer as well. So vamos a, a recibir más uh, juegos en el blacktop, uh, la pintura en el blacktop, para tener juegos para los niños en el año que viene durante el verano. Uh, we're adding two more basketball hoops. We got two last year. We're adding two more um, to the South Playground. So vamos a tener más uh, de basketball. And we're adopting a STEAM curriculum for next year. So estamos adoptando un curriculum de STEAM, de ciencia, tecnología, ingeniero, arte y matemáticas. Pues es un uh, curriculum que uh, tiene las varias áreas, áreas de aprendizaje. Uh, pero es nuevo a nuestra escuela y vamos a tener dos lugares para uh, laboratorios, espacios para tener, uh, enseñar las clases. So tenemos uh, 3104 y 4, uh, 4101. So we have the two lab spaces as well um, that will help with the curriculum, with the, this new curriculum, the science, technology, engineering, arts and math uh, integrated curriculum. And then <clears throat> all of our teachers are getting the newest and greatest uh, teaching tool, which is the box light touch screens in all the classrooms. So we have them in most rooms and they're just trading them out with the old ones. So we're getting almost all the rooms will now have the newest ones. <clears throat> so that will also be new to Edison and a great learning tool for students and a teaching tool for teachers. So van a recibir tecnología nueva en sus clases que está muy bien para aprendizaje y enseñando uh, cuando lo más, los maestros están enseñando. Es un buen herramienta. All right, and this will be, we're running up on our last slide and then we're gonna get into our financial presentation. Um, if you're interested in visiting our campus and taking a tour. So if you're a newer parent and um, you haven't been to the Edison campus because it's been closed off for the last couple of years, I'm gonna be hosting uh, tours on the week right after Memorial Day. So it's on May 31st through June 3rd in the morning, there'll be three time slots, 8, 8.30 and nine. And I have spaces open for parents that would like to come. It's optional, it's not required, but I just thought I would offer it since we haven't really had the opportunity to come through the campus. Um, if you're interested, you may sign up in the front office. So, si tiene interés de visitar nuestro uh, campus uh, y tomar una, una visita para caminar alrededor de la escuela, uh, puede uh, uh, firmar en la oficina que quiere un, una hora o pues es, uh, 30 minutos más o menos para venir conmigo alrededor de la escuela. Podemos uh, discutir qué está pasando en la escuela y puede visitar los espacios y ver cómo están funcionando en la escuela porque no tuvo la oportunidad de venir durante um, cuando está afuera, pues porque de COVID. 
All right, so, uh, and thank you to our parent volunteers. We have, uh, now that we are opening up for parent volunteers, we have a lot of parent volunteers that signed up and have already been coming on field trips. So if you still wanna volunteer, please complete the volunteer packet um, and to get that approved. And I believe it's good for one calendar year. So if you sign up now, it'll be good into next year. Um, so if you wanna be a volunteer, you wanna come help out with different things. We have different projects um, at different times. Um, that would be wonderful. So, si quiere involucrarse um, para ser voluntarios en la escuela, puede llenar la pa el paquete y entregar a la oficina porque es bueno para un año. Y pues tuvimos varias uh, familias, madres, padres, uh, a venir a los paseos que tenemos. Y pues tenemos muchos proyectos que necesitamos ayuda, ayuda uh, por ejemplo, en el área de libros y varios proyectos. Um, Entonces puede venir para llenar el paquete. And I have a special feature presentation that I just put together with like hundreds of pictures that I've taken throughout this year that I wanted to share with you that you can watch on YouTube. Um, this is the video here. Um, it's 16 minutes long, so I'm not gonna play it now, uh, but I will share it in Class Dojo so that you can go take a look at it. And it's just a lot of different pictures of different events that we had throughout the year some classroom pictures, some school-wide events, and, and all kinds of things, uh, a good combination of our experience from the year. So please take a look at that. Si puede visitar YouTube para ver el video, que es 16 minutos, um, para de fotos del año que repasa el año pasado, este año escolar, uh, y es un buen ejemplo de las cosas que um, hicimos este año. Um, so please go take a look at that as well. And each teacher, is responsible for doing a virtual open house in the form of a, a video as well. And so you should be seeing in Class Dojo the teacher posting a link to a presentation that they have created to summarize the year. And we thought that would be a nice gift to you as parents. You can see in summary all of the things that your child has been doing in the class, just different um, experiences and photos and, and just recalling and recapping. So cada maestra están poniendo en Class Dojo hoy un enlace o una presentación uh, para ustedes saber de su experiencia en su clase de hace año. Es fotos, es una presentación, varias maneras, videos y cosas ellos están poniendo para ustedes. Es un regalito a nosotros, de nosotros a ustedes uh, para compartir de su año, de, este, de sus niños, de sus hijos uh, aquí en la escuela. Ok, so look in Class Dojo for that and go check this out in YouTube. That, congratulations to our Shining Stars, May 2020, 2022 Shining Stars. Felicitaciones a nuestras estrellas brillantes de mayo de uh, 2022. Um, I will do as I usually do, go take the pictures and make another video for you that will also be shared with you in Class Dojo and on YouTube. So I'm gonna give that. And then next year, we probably will have all of these things back in person. Um, so we can look forward to that. Um, and thank you for watching. And I know a lot of you um, watch on um, YouTube recap, but um, hopefully you enjoy. Feel free to reach out at any time. And as I said, sign up if you want to come in for a tour. It's optional. Um, and we'll see you. And we hope that you have a wonderful rest of the year. So thank you very much. Gracias para venir. Y uh, si necesita algo, puede alcanzar a nosotros, a mí. Y si quiere visitar, puede uh, venir a la oficina. Y pues que tenga un uh, excelente fin del año. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias, Dr. Lee.